and welcome back. Before we get to the purpose of this video, I want you guys to check out my poll. It's going to be right here on this side. Make sure you click the video that you want to see next. And if you're also new to my channel and you want to see more updates with me, make sure you subscribe. The button will be down below and it will also be right here. So let us get on to the purpose of the video. Today we're going to be talking about the launch of the Morph M and S pad. So it's the matte and shimmer pad. This pad I think launched two and a half weeks ago and I ordered mine once it launched because I wasn't waiting for it to get sold out and wait for so many months just to get it back in stock. Because as you guys know, it took me a long while to get the 350 original pad. It took me like damn near seven months just to get that pad because every time I would go get it when it launched, it sold out in 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, stop y'all guys. Are you guys crazy? Like, y'all wanna keep yourself over the pad? Like, seriously? Get a light. Every time I heard that it was launching, I always hyperventilate when I'm on the keyboard. I'm like this trying to type like okay put it in my cart put it in my cart before I get to the checkout bam it's sold out like seriously but I finally got my hands on it and I absolutely love the pad it's right here so when they said they were gonna come out with the uh, two palettes that are shimmer and matte and good girl was like yes nobody's gonna mention me this time around I'm gonna stalk this website I'm gonna be there 30 minutes before it launches because I want to get this pad I succeeded in that so here we are today with the palette the palette is a sequel to the original whereby these are all shimmer and then the next one are all like matte shades every single thing is matte in this pad i'm gonna let you guys know some comparisons and things but the thing i've noticed with this pad is that the original shades that come in the original ones don't follow the same sequence of these this palette but they do follow each other if you're looking at them from this side like this retrospect but if you compare it to the original the shades are not the same in the path they're a little bit off but I don't mind that even though uh, I'm gonna show you guys swatches I'm gonna like show you guys swatches um, as I'm talking so let's just start with the shimmer pad the shimmer pad of course has all shimmery shades okay so I'm gonna let you know a little bit about it I have tested these colors out I actually have this whole look going with this pad every single eyeshadow is this pad i didn't use anything else um i like this pad because i love shimmery shades of course shimmery shades are a definite must have in your collection and i believe i like the way they had the concept of making two separates so that you can kind of dibble and dabble between palettes and create looks so it has the whole scheme of the orange theme where they were going with like the nature glow because that's what they really call the pad it has a lot of neutrals a lot of orange tones brown tones and yeah so so I really really like it and I like that it has some taupe tones too as well to it. I'm gonna show you a few of my shades as I'm talking. I'm gonna be going over like you're gonna see shades on the screen. It's gonna show you all the colors. Like these colors are so saturated. Like this pad, I would give it 8.5 or a, a, you know, it's not like Urban Decay texture of course, but it's still buttery smooth. It's still pigmented. I mean no joke like these colors are really really pretty they are pretty i mean if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to invest in expensive urban decay Too Faced palette and you just want something that you can work with and you're not like bam i don't want to deal with color i just want to deal with something that i can work with then lean towards the color this will be a perfect palette for you and i believe you also would need the matte one so you can interchange like the question now is that with the morphe m and the s do you still need the original i don't think so like seriously i doubt i, I doubt you need the original if you haven't had the original you can just get the matte and the shimmer and call it a day that's what i think but if you already have the old the like original i still will get it like seriously i I know it sounds like crazy because I know people were like, oh, why are you getting the matte and the... I, well, I'm like, it's a, it's a twofer for me because I can deal with certain matte shades. One day I might want to go all matte and the shade that I wanted matte is a shimmer in the original and I don't have both to use. So that's the purpose of me, you know, getting both of the pads. And I also work with brides. So I think that's going to be a good thing to me to have in my 
kit that I can, you know, use on my brides that I work with. Now, we're going to talk about the matte portion. As you guys see, all matte shades over here. The matte portion, I would give it a 7.5. You guys know that mattes are like one of the hardest shades to create. It's not something easy to create. Even with expensive brands, some of the mattes they do create come out a little bit off texture or a little bit chalky. These ones are some of the, the best mattes I've seen in like a massively produced pot because you guys know BH Cosmetic makes these kind of pots. Coastal Scents make these kind of pot pots and they're matte shades are like these shades oh my god they are some of the most softer texture not buttery like the shimmer pad but softer some of them are chalky that's why I gave it a 7.5 because some of the colors are chalky like this uh, like it's kind of like a pinky red here um the shade is a little chalky um some of the um, like this brown shade right here is a little chalky these surprisingly lighter shades are actually really smooth that's like so surprising because some of those white shades or light shades are the ones that tend to lean on the chalkiness side but they actually are smooth and blendable so i really like that about it and that's it that's like every other color in here is pr practically you know really pigmented and like look at this orange here like seriously guys like seriously they this is like butter look at that that's so gorgeous i really really recommend this one you guys know my opinions are always true i brought it with my own money of course so that's another you know another given right there right so i really really like it and i think you guys need to get it in your life like seriously if you like neutrals you're gonna love this pot like and if you want to see this look hit that like button and also comment down below and let me know how you like the look because i know i just threw something on just for the video so at least i'm talking about the pad and i can have something to show that i used the pad of course because y'all want to see how it looks like on my face right so that's it for the review i will have my pictures and everything on instagram go on my instagram page and follow me make sure you check out everything i post there because i do post pictures of everything i do and you guys can get a lowdown of the pad and other things that you guys want to see thank you guys again for your love and support if you're new to my channel again make sure you hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on my social networks they're all listed down below of course thank you guys again and i'll see you in my next video Bye.